From the giants of the deep to the ancient reptiles on land, every animal has an expiration date, or do they? What if we told you that deep in our oceans there is a creature that has found the secret to biological immortality? Our first contender is arguably the most famous, the Turritopsis dorni, or the immortal jellyfish. When faced with physical threat, sickness, or even old age, this incredible animal can perform a biological miracle. It can reverse its life cycle, transforming its cells from a specialized adult state back into a polyp, its infant form. It's like a butterfly turning back into a caterpillar again and again, effectively restarting its life. While it can be eaten or get sick, it cannot die of old age. But the jellyfish isn't alone. Meet the hydra, a simple freshwater relative. Scientists have discovered that the hydra's body is made mostly of stem cells with an almost limitless ability to regenerate. They don't seem to undergo senescence. That's the gradual deterioration we call aging. Under perfect lab conditions, these tiny creatures show no signs of aging and could, theoretically, live forever. Now, for an animal that may not be biologically immortal but gets pretty close through sheer resilience, the ocean quahog clam. These unassuming mollusks live deep in the North Atlantic and grow incredibly slowly. Scientists determine their age by counting the growth rings on their shells, much like a tree. One specimen nicknamed Ming was found to be 507 years old. It was born in 1499 during the Ming Dynasty. It doesn't reverse aging, it just barely ages at all. Lobsters also have a fascinating relationship with age. They don't age in the typical way either. They produce an enzyme called telomerase that repairs their DNA repeatedly, allowing them to keep growing and molting their shells throughout their lives. They don't get weaker or less fertile with age, so why aren't the oceans filled with giant thousand-year-old lobsters? Sadly, they eventually succumb to the energy cost of molting. Their shells become too heavy to shed, or simply to disease and predation. But if protected, their biological clock just keeps on ticking. 